I, I know of some people um, whose ability to get out and be independent, walk to the shops or walk to the bus, does uh, isolate them. M mobility, I think, is important for everybody. I, I don't own a car. I worry that I won't be able to ride my bike. Because as you get older, you find that you know, your reaction speed slows down and I want everything to go slower, but nobody's going slower but me. It's going to be quite awful when I can't get in the car and go to where I want to. It's all very well to use the bus, but your friends don't necessarily live by a bus stop. And as you get older, you think, I don't want to walk that far. So am I going to be stuck in my flat? And a lot of people are stuck in their homes. There is obviously a connection between loneliness and mobility. The person who is slowing down their life, who is finding it difficult to manage to get around, is heading for a further burst of illness, either physical or mental. And they're just going to live a very poor quality life. We've got to help people get out and about. And it points expressly to the idea of developing driverless cars. The ability to have independent mobility uh, can change people's lives. So rather than being stuck at home, being able to have a vehicle which you can control when you want it, use it as you please, will open up people's world. The thing that's particularly exciting about Flourish is that we're focusing around the user side and in particular how the user interacts with the CAV. For example, um, with our older participants, how can they tell the CAV that they want it to take them to the cafe or how can they tell them that they've changed their mind and they want to go to another destination? So Flourish in many ways is about a co-design process. So a co-design process which combines what we know works well. Um, for people using these kind of technologies and things that we're testing that should work well, but we're also asking participants what they want so that we can design with them in mind. We are running the pod trials for Flourish. Uh, this is involving older participants who have got an opportunity to take a rise in a connect autonomous vehicle, including using the human machine interface developed under Flourish to be able to ask the vehicle about the specific journey that they want to go and to be able to program the journey that they want to undertake. The impact of Flourish is particularly in using older people to help develop the concept. And we've heard from older people, for example, look, I find it difficult to program the computer with my bad arthritis and with my poor eyesight and so on and so forth. So if we can provide them with a, a voice recognition way of controlling their journey, that is probably a good idea. We know how to do it. It's just remembering to put that into the box. These are all relevant points to the lives of older people. And by making sure we don't overlook them, we'll make the driverless car a much more accessible vehicle for older people. These pod things will, will give a whole new dimension for people of a certain age. So instead of looking forward to it with worry, I look forward to it and say, come on, I want them now, I'm 75, come on, I can't wait forever. Our lives will change amazingly, and I think this is a, a really good force for a better life.